and these blocks are based on a rough plan that you have made here prior to starting. So that is the most important thing. get something like this with the buildings gradually stepping down so that's the basic building made by most developers so that was a starting point where you just see the massing so you understand what kind of length you're playing it what
You've seen that it comes to them by 225. You make a small block like this, simply like playing with a model, but then making models is a longer process. You put this block, put the number of blocks that you need to be able to satisfy the requirements. And then you, so you know, you've got a scale now to this project, simply by a few minutes of sketching. And everything is on scale, everything is to proportion. And now you start looking at it and deciding how is it that you want to further make this interesting, make it unique, make it different. You could make it something long and continuous. You could make rectilinear blocks that are long, or you could fragment it into portions like this, which is just like a village. So all of these permutations and combinations and the way to move forward, you can decide once you've simply made the layout to scale. And all of this is really fast when you do it in a sketch. The point is that you must sketch on scale so you know the proportion and you understand perfectly well what is it, what are the kind of volume that you're playing with and also understand what is the site, what is the difference and how you should be orienting the building. I mean this was just a starting point. Maybe later on we decide that we rotate all these buildings. So in the long distance on the above floors, maybe everybody gets that little water view. So it's just a starting point, it's just to explain how one takes a sketch forward into something that is a larger scale, but yet does all of this to scale to get the correct proportion. So in the first part of the series on sketching, we took a really small house, drew the proportion, drew the perspective and saw how to manipulate the volumes. Here we've taken something much larger, it's a nine acre site located in Goa. So you see first where the orientation is, where one should face the buildings. But you start again with a sketch drawn to proportion, draw a basic floor plan, one is to 200, one is to 50, whatever you're comfortable with. Draw it, measure it, understand what the dimension is. Then take that as a block, draw this to one is to 1000. Look at how many blocks you can place here and the number of blocks that are needed to satisfy the requirements of the client and the site. And then do a very quick sketch of the volumes. So you see that, yes, over this length, this is the kind of volume that I'm going to see and then decide whether you want to make this something that is linear, you want to make this into a series of long rectangular blocks which are joined together, or you want to fragment it further and separate each part further into little, little volumes that kind of make it look like an organic village. So that's up to you. But the point is, you start with a sketch which is done to proportion and very quickly you are able to visualize what it is that you are going to draw and how you can change the design to improve it and make it contextual and truly different.